Hey guys, hope you are um, doing well. Hope everyone's had a great weekend. Plenty of uh, riding and racing. Um, I did a little bit of uh, fishing personally. Went down to some in Perth. So we went down to, or I went down to Bunbury. Um, caught up with the parents and did a little bit of fishing. Um, and there are a few lessons that I got from from fishing. So I'm not really a, a fisherman. Um, probably my maybe my fourth or fifth time fishing uh, in my lifetime. So definitely not something I do all the time. Um, and I've still yet to to catch a proper size fish. Now, um, while I was uh, while I was doing that, obviously when you're fishing, you spend a fair bit of time uh, thinking, okay, because you're just standing there uh, reeling in your your fish, okay, or supposed to be a fish reeling in your reel. Um, and there was a few lessons, a few things that I thought that would, would transfer over well to to racing that I'd like to be able to share with you guys um, on this Monday morning. So I've got them written down. So if you see me looking down at my um, sheet. Uh, that's because I've got a list here of a few things that I wanted to go through. So one of the, the things with fishing is that in order to, to be successful, to be able to catch a fish, okay, uh, or to be, able to be able to be deemed successful, to be able to catch a fish, is there's a few things that you have to be able to do. Now, the, the first thing with that is you have to be able to, you have to be able to be there, okay? You have to rock up and you have to be out there, okay? So it's all well and good me saying, oh, I haven't caught a fish, haven't caught a fish, haven't caught a fish, but really, I've only been fishing four or five times, so the likelihood of me catching a fish is going to be um, a lot less likely than someone who goes fishing every weekend or goes fishing every day or goes fish has been fishing 50 times. Okay, so the first thing is that you need to be able to rock up, and you need to be able to rock up continuously, okay? And that goes the same with your riding as well. You need to be able to consistently rock up with your riding, consistently rock up with your training, consistently be there putting the effort in to be able to get the results, much like fishing, okay? You need to be there. If you're not there, you don't catch the fish. If you're not there with your riding and racing, you're not going to get the results, and you need to be consistently there, okay? So that's the first thing. The, the next thing to look at is when you are being consistent and you're getting there, how much of an effort are you really putting in when you're there, okay? So... Uh, for example, some of the times I've been fishing or some of the people I've been fishing with, if they're not catching any fish within the first 10, 15 minutes, they'll pack it up and go, oh, this area is shit and move on. Okay, so what happens there is they're, they're not giving them themselves enough time to be able to be successful. So obviously, the longer you're in, in one spot for a period of time, the longer, uh, the, the higher the chance of you being successful. So someone who goes fishing for 15 minutes in the same spot as someone else who goes fishing for two hours in that same spot, even if there's no fish, even if they're not getting many bites, whatever, the person that's there longer is going to be the person that has the higher chance of winning. Okay, the person who puts in the most time, puts in the most effort, is just consistently being there. Okay, spends the most time there because they're going to have the most opportunities. And that goes with your training and racing as well. You want to make sure that with your racing, with your training, you're consistently there, consistently putting the effort in, and you want to be able to, to, to pick a particular method or a particular system or way of doing things, and you want to be able to stick with that long enough to be able to see if there's there's going to be positive results or to see if there's any going to be any positive changes that are going to be able to help with your riding, racing, training. Okay, um, and that's one of those things. If, you, if you're quitting too early, you're giving up too early, you're not giving things a proper chance to be able to, to do well, to succeed, you might have had the perfect thing to be able to, to help you get to that next level. You might have had the perfect technique to enhance your riding, to enhance your fitness, to enhance your flexibility, to enhance your mindset. But because you haven't stuck with it long enough, you haven't been able to see the results from it. You haven't been able to get the, the feedback from it um, because you haven't given it a good run. So you need to be able to give it a, a good crack, okay? Like you are with your, your fishing. You need to get out there and you need to put the time in. Uh, the, the, the next thing to, to look at is, is knowing when to, to change your approach. Okay, so let's just say you go you go fishing in a particular location, all right, um, for fish. Then you may be fishing in, in one area. So when I was fishing, uh, my parents were, or mum was fishing over near the rocks, and I was fishing more in the, the open water, okay? Um, and she was saying she was getting a few bites, and I wasn't getting them, all right? So after I'd spent a period of time out in the, in the water, okay, um, or away from the rocks fishing, okay, and had, had, hadn't really um, gotten any results over that side, then you need to be able to know when to change your approach, okay? And being able to do that, you can get feedback from other people and find out what other people are doing um, who have been successful and be able to model or replicate exactly what they're doing. So with fishing, that's maybe moving over towards the, the rocks where it's a little bit more protected. Maybe that's where the fish go. I have no idea about fishing. Okay, um, but for your racing, that means when you're picking a particular approach, you've stuck with it, you've put the time in, you've put the effort in, you haven't seen the desirable changes that you're after, then shift your approach. 
okay? Change to something else. So if that means that, okay, when you go to the track, you consistently do half hour motos and it hasn't really been helping with your riding, then maybe change it up. Go, okay, I've been doing half hour motos for the last three months. Maybe switch it up, okay? So when you go and ride, when you go and uh, train the next time, maybe do sprints, maybe do high intensity stuff, maybe do uh, 10 minute motos, okay? Being able to change your approach to be able to get different results and being able to, to track that. Obviously with fishing, it's very, very easy to be able to track your progress because you either catch a fish or you don't. With riding and with racing, with training, it's a lot different because we're tracking results, we're tracking data the whole way, okay? It's not um, not such a clear-cut result. Uh, we're looking at, at minor changes, okay? There's a little bit of gray area there that we're looking at for improvement, which is why it's important to be able to keep data on everything. And lastly, the last thing that I got from, from fishing was being able to, um, to, know, to know when to move on and when to try again. Okay, so obviously we got to a point in time, we've been fishing there for a couple of hours, um, exhausted all, all approaches, okay, so changed, um, so it changed the, the, the approach, changed the, the location, okay, we had times where we walked further into the water, see if we were cast out further, okay, so constantly changing your approach, changing the way that you're, you're tackling things, okay, um, to be able to get a different result, and then once you've exhausted all those areas, okay, you've put the time in, you've put the consistency in, you've changed your approach, okay, and then you're not getting results, then that's when you need to, to really shift things as a whole and be able to, to move on. So for fishing, that's going to be moving on to a separate location, okay, that's going to be moving somewhere. So we went down to, to Bunbury, so maybe that means going to manager, maybe that means going uh, somewhere else, maybe that means coming back on a day where the, where the weather's better, okay, but that's once you've exhausted all those other approaches, and what I find with success with races is that they, they quit too early, Okay, or they give up too early. They, they put the effort in with something or they try something new, but they don't give it time to actually get the results from it. They do it, it feels different, it feels weird. So it's a, they see it as a negative rather than as something to get used to and something that's going to bring them a positive in the long term. And it's always a thing about being able to focus on that long term, that having that long term vision, not, not short term vision. So for, for racing, okay, for using a particular type of suspension and you've given it the time. You've put the effort into to changing it. You've been consistently getting out there and giving it a crack, and it's still not going well. Then that's the time when you go, okay, shit, this suspension is not what I need. I need something else, okay? And that's when you shift your approach. It doesn't mean you're giving up or quitting, okay? It means you're changing your approach, but on a global level. So we can change our approach on a minor level. So for example, with suspension, right? Um, you could change your approach. You could uh, make a few, uh, adjust the rebound, okay? Adjust the compression, adjust, uh, put a different spring in it, okay? Get different valves put in it. There's a whole heap of stuff you can do to change your approach on a minor level. Otherwise, you can go, no, this suspension is is not working for me. Something else we've used before has been better and go back to be able to using that, okay? And the same goes with your training. Just because you've done training or you've done exercise, it doesn't mean you've done the very best that you could or done the very best stuff with that exercise, with that training to be able to help, help with your racing, okay? So likewise, you want to be able to look at changing your approach, okay? So go, look, okay, I've tried uh, lifting weights with the, the cable machines, okay? And that's not really helping me on the, on the bike. Okay, well, don't use the cable machines anymore, okay? Maybe first you start off with the cable machines, you just start off doing curls. Then you started off and you went and you changed your approach and you did curls, tricep extensions, and some sit-ups. And that still wasn't helping, okay? And then you, you did that for... Uh, for three to four months, okay? You put the work and you put the time and you consistently showed up and you still weren't getting the results that you're after. Then shift your approach and go, okay, this stuff's not working. Let's move to some multi-joint movements. Let's move to back squatting, deadlifts, overhead press, bent over rows. Let's move to these type of movements and see what we can do there, okay? But it's all about being able to change your approach on a, on a micro level and a macro level as well. Sorry, my iPhone's telling me it's full. Um, it's all about being able to change your approach on a, on a micro level and on a macro level, okay? You need to be constantly making adjustments, constantly searching for that little bit extra. And the way you do that is from trying and testing, but you need to be consistent with the method that you're using. You need to be consistently putting in the time in because like me, I haven't caught, no, I haven't caught a proper fish yet, okay? But I've only been fishing four or five times in my whole life. So the, chance, the likelihood of me catching a fish is going to be very low as well as not having the knowledge as well. I wouldn't have a clue about fishing. I just get my rod out and go, go wherever there's water, okay? I wouldn't have a clue. So what that means is that if I spent more time fishing, okay, what do you think? If I, I've only been fishing five times, if my, my goal for the next 90 days was to go fishing uh, 60 times, do you think that, there were, that I would have a higher chance of catching a fish? Okay, of course I would, because there's more time there, there's more consistently, there's more opportunity. Okay, I have a high chance of, of being successful because I'm just being there more. Even if I don't improve my knowledge, even if I'm not reading 10 fishing books a day, learning what bait to use, learning the exactly the same, the, the exact spots that I need to be going, 
as long as I'm just consistently rocking up, I'm increasing my chances, okay, just by rocking up. So then when we when we increase that consistency of rocking up, plus then we implant knowledge, which is what we do through training. We have that consistency with training, plus we have the best method of training, then that's when the magic really happens, okay? So imagine me going fishing for the next uh, 90 days, going 60 times, plus reading a fishing book every single day, okay? Telling me um, and watching the, the the fishing Facebook pages. It's gonna increase my chances of catching a fish, which means it's gonna increase my chances of being successful. And that's gonna do exactly the same for you. If you're consistently there, consistently putting in the same effort, mapping out everything, uh, looking at your approach, looking at exactly what you're doing, giving it enough time to run out and then changing your approach when you need to, then you're gonna have a much easier time being successful and getting results with your training, getting results with your racing um, than you would just rocking up here in there, not really having any consistency with a particular approach or a particular method. Okay, um, so that's just a couple of uh, a couple of things I got from fishing guys that I thought I'd like to share with you um, that will help with your your racing. Um, an analogy there that, that I hope is helpful. Um, I hope you've all had a, a great weekend of racing. If this has been helpful, uh, give me a, a thumbs up. There's a couple of you on here, um, but otherwise we'll hopefully see you in the afternoon. Uh, put another live stream together as usual. Didn't get to to the Sunday live stream. Um, but we'll put another one together for you guys in the in the Arvo. Uh, look forward to seeing you then. Have a great day. See you guys.